Hi everyone, Gruntle here, and this is my guide to legendary and unique weapons in Borderlands the pre-sequel. This episode we're looking at the Boss Nova, which is a unique assault rifle manufactured by SCAV. Now this is the only uncommon rarity, or green rarity, unique weapon in both Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the pre-sequel. It is quite a unique, unique and it's only obtainable as a shift reward from Tales from the Borderlands Season Pass owners or through save editors such as Gibt. But the only legitimate way is through a shift reward. So you'll need the shift code and you'll need to have actually purchased Tales from the Borderlands Season Pass to get that shift code. Now, if we have a look here, it comes in the four different element elemental types, element types. The shock version, incendiary, cryo and corrosive version and if we look at the parts here it's always going to have this torg barrel that is the unique barrel for this weapon um, it has any sight this one here has the scav sight just so I can match it up with the body here it has the um, Vladoff grip on it and I've got that on there to increase the fire rate of this weapon as the weapon has quite reduced fire rate and it's got the dull stock on it here and that is to um, give it some recoil reduction and recoil recovery um, and also the dull stock has no negatives so it basically makes it the best stock in the game for assault rifles now if you look at the skin here it's quite interesting it has some interesting colors on it um, and the the mag of this weapon is quite interesting compared to the mag of the other uniques and legendary scav um, rifles that I've looked at so far and I believe that's because of the green rarity of the weapon it has this different looking mag and you'll probably notice that um, they're all boss novas boss is usually a prefix that happens after you put on the damage attachment for a weapon and it usually happens only with the Jacobs types um, so boss boss is the damage prefix however with this it doesn't actually have any attachment you can't have an attachment on this weapon as the attachment slot is taken up with the loonshine slot so you can get it with loonshine I'm not sure if it spawns naturally as a shift reward with Loonshine, but you can definitely use a save editor to put, to put Loonshine on it. However, you can't actually put an attachment on it, but it does have greatly increased damage compared to other Scav Assault Rifles, so I believe that the damage prefix basically is already on it. Um, it's just not able to be shown as an attachment. Now, oh, the red text, by the way, is Wah Bwah Wum, or something like that. I don't know what it's referencing. Um, the wiki doesn't know either. You can read the wiki by the way in the description below the like button if you want to. There's a little bit of stuff that I won't cover in this video possibly on there. So you can have a look at that. Now on to comparing it to the other Scav assault rifles. I'm not exactly sure which rarity I should be comparing it to here as usually I would compare a blue rarity or purple rarity unique to the either purple or legendary counterparts however as it's a green rarity unique it's probably more comparable to the blue rarity scav um, but I will show it here compared to all of them basically what it's going to have is it's going to have a higher projectile speed than these other scav assault rifles it's going to have a decreased rate of fire compared to all of them a increased mag size compared to um, the green rarity but not compared to these other ones it has a great it has greatly increased damage even compared to the purple um, rarity which is two rarities higher than that green boss nova so that's pretty crazy um, and it has a way quicker reload than any of these other scabs as well so that's pretty cool and also the elemental effects chance is quite a lot higher too Oh, and one thing I was going to mention as well is that it consumes two ammo per shot, and I believe that's because of the Torg barrel on it. Um, these ones consuming three ammo per shot, so it actually consumes reduced ammo per shot compared to the same parted other weapons, which is quite cool. 
Now we'll show it to you um, what it does when I fire it. Basically what's going to happen is it's going to fire out a thing that does a Nova. Now it's basically, it's instant, um, you click the trigger and it's instantly going to form a Nova um, in front of you and it only forms that Nova on walls or basically inanimate objects. If you hit an enemy directly um, and they don't have a wall behind them like here, the Nova will actually pass through them or the shot will pass through them and it will create a Nova on the, um, on the nearest object in, in the line of sight. So you have to hit probably the ground underneath an enemy is going to be the best spot to be hitting or a wall behind it if they are standing in front of a wall. So that's kind of cool. And you can see that the Nova is quite big, so you'll be able to damage multiple enemies at once. And um, characters like, um, oh, Aurelia will be good with this weapon, with the cryo version. Or I was going to say, um, oh, Athena, that's her name. Athena's going to be good with the, um, the shock version, as that will be popping her um, Saronic Storm tree with the um, that that old you know that old skill that I can't remember the name of that I've mentioned many times that basically is uh, to do with shock damage and stuff I can't remember what it's called but anyway Athena is probably going to be good with this weapon otherwise um, all the other characters I think would be very average with this weapon or difficult to use anyway and they're not going to get too many buffs however uh, Nisha is the only character that's going to be able to get critical hits with this weapon because um, being that it only hits a wall it negates any chance for a critical hit unless you're using Nisha's uh, tombstone skill so that is an interesting thing to note now also as I'm shooting here you'll be able to see um, that my sham shield is picking up the bullets um, all being damaged by this shot so the Nova can do damage to yourself so you've got to watch out for that when you're firing it you could set yourself a light or give yourself cryo damage if you don't have a shield on I actually just demonstrate that so take the shield off and we're taking damage here so yes be wary of that because you can go into fight for your life mode and things like that now what I'll do here is I'll jump to the gameplay of it with Jack and I will let you know what I'm thinking of the weapon's usability in the game. So we're here in Overlook with the Boss Nova. I'll start with the shock version just so you guys can see what that's like and I'll switch to the other element versions as well. You can have a feel for what those are like in combat too. Now when you match the element damage to the enemies, so you're using incendiary on the on the flesh enemies and corrosive on the armored enemies, etc, etc, you're going to get a really decent amount of damage out of this weapon. I was surprised at how well it was doing. Um, the increased damage on the card to other similar scav assault rifles is, is quite a good effect, has quite a good effect. If I'm using correct English, which is, it's good to see. Um, it means that the decreased fire rate of the weapon is not too much of a bad thing. However, if you can be using a character that increases fire rate, such as Nisha, um, or I believe that Wilhelm also has a fire rate increase, though I'm not sure if it might be just for lasers. But yes, if you have that increased fire rate, then you're going to get even better use out of this weapon. And right there you can actually see that you can hit flying enemies. So I was wrong before to say that you can't hit them. It's just a lot more difficult. Um, and when they are on the ground you can see there that the Nova will actually pass through them and uh, take effect on the wall. So I was correct in that. But that only happens on the ground and if they are in mid -air, they do have a chance to be hit. However you have to, have to hit them, uh, you have to get quite accurate to hit them in air. So it's always best to focus on the grounded enemies first before you try and take out the flying enemies as here. I ignore this guy and move on to the guys on the ground already. So yes, 
Final verdict, 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 verdict. The final verdict of this weapon for me is that it is actually a pretty cool weapon to use. It's usable for fight for your life as you can see here. It can get enemies around corners because of that Nova which is very awesome. Um, it's an interesting weapon to use, it's fun, it's quite cool. So if you like using Gibt or if you have the season pass for Tales from the Borderlands, definitely give this gun a go. It's quite cool. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you want to see more of these weapon guides, please subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you for the next video. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you enjoyed.